Hi, this is Diane at dianescards.com and today I want to show you some techniques for using markers to color your stamps. And today, this is the card that I posted and I use the um, background stamp with the stripes on it, whose name I'll remember in a second. It's called Brush Strokes. And just took my marker and did one stripe in the Blackberry Bliss, one stripe in the Hello Honey, and so forth and so on. That takes a little while to do, so I'm going to do something a little quicker for you right now. So imagine that I want to have uh, two colors on here. One where I'm going to um, color... Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Oh, usually they stay on better than that. I want to have some of the words in one color and some in another. So I'm just going to use the broad side, the brush side rather, of my Stampin' Right marker here. This is Blackberry Bliss, which I'm going to miss. That kind of rhymes. So let's see. I think I got all that. And now I want this in a different word, different color. I think this is just outline, so yeah, it's dark there. Make sure we get it done well. So this is nice when you have a word that you want to emphasize in your sentiment. So now I'm going to huff so that re-moisturizes the ink that you have here. So let's see what happens here. You're going to hold it down for a few seconds and hope for the best. I think it's going to be fine. There we are. All right. So that's one way to use your markers to get that coloring on there. Another way is if you want to have multiple colors on your um, card front. Mm -hmm. And I somehow lost the third color, but we're going to make do here. So I'm going to do, let's call it a stripe in Blackberry Bliss. Then I'm going to do a stripe. And every once in a while I think I'm picking up some of that Blackberry Bliss. So you just sort of as you would with your aqua pen. Okay. <laughs> and then if I had a third color, I would put it here, but since we're improvising here. Okay. <sighs> Once again, you want to huff. Don't blow on it, that will dry it. But you want to huff, that is to breathe air out so that the moisture from your mouth, don't think about it, is going to re-moisten your ink. So there we go. Nice striped effect. I did that in a card the other day. Uh, I think it was Tangelo Twist and I forget what else, but three colors. So there you have that. Now another way is, I'll, I do this a lot with flowers. And if I want to have, if it's a flower and a stem or a flower and a leaf, I'm going to color the flowers one color and the leaves another. But what I want to do here is just mm, I'm going to do the lighter color first because actually not even going to do that. We're going to use the ink pad and if you're going to have a light color you can do that. So we're going to ink the whole thing up and then I'm just going to take the Blackberry Bliss in the middle and I'm sort of both removing ink and adding some of the Blackberry Bliss. So you always want to do that, you're going to do that with your darker color because then you're not going to mess up the marker or the ink pad. So let's see how this turned out. I shouldn't say that I know it's going to be wonderful. There you go. Now the third thing that I've done with this is sometimes I'm up here and the ink pad I want is downstairs. Maybe I have it ready for a class or something. And I just use the marker and color the whole thing. Not a problem. If you don't happen to have an, a marker in a color that you want, uh, uh, an ink pad rather in a color that you want, but you have the marker, there you go, you're done. So here you go, different ways to use those markers on your stamps to get nice effects. Uh, as I said, it's very nice when you have a flower and a leaf or just want to have an emphasis on one word in the stamp. So I hope you'll stop by again, um, do more videos, and I'll have them posted here on YouTube. Thanks very much.